Bo Rukatad Renai, the Hayden Malek Halam, Ashik Chanin, the Visvatad, the Sivana, the Shmoa, Ko Ha Shofar. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Yahweh, our Lord, our Elohim, our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us by his commandments, has commanded us to hear, heed, listen to, and obey the voice or the sound of the shofar, which is our ram's horn. <laughs> At the end. Very end of the service. All right. At the very end of the service, we'll do that. Very end of the service, we're doing it a lot. All right, let's do this. Let's do the Shema. My uncle's good at doing it. To the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic. Actually, Jeannie's been doing it. She's been doing a pretty good job. I think when I get with her and help her to get more a little finesse to it, but she's doing a good finesse. job. Yeah. No, slower. Awun Dwashmeya, Nitkadash Shma, Tete Maputach, Newe Soyana, Kana, Dwashmeya, Abara. Halan Lakma, Sokana, Yomana, Washlukwan, Kabain, Kana, Dab, Kana, Shwakan Laiawe. Ilatabla Nasione, the Pasim and Bisha, Metal de Lachi, Alputa, Kaye, Utishbukta, Alam, Amin, Amen. Jonathan, are you doing it? You do it so well. I thought you're going to bless us all with your wonderful rendition. The words are in my hands. Thy King 
Announcements real quick. Now, one thing I need to announce is uh, hopefully we're going to finish up on time. I want I want Joseph to get all of his information out, but uh, uh, we're going to break the fast we're of God. Starving. We're yes. Starving. So what happens if Joseph goes too long? We'll get there. We'll be able to eat. We have a shot collar. We have a shot collar. Right so uh, what are some announcements? Uh, Sukkot starts Friday, uh, so it, it is going to begin. I have the new newsletters here. If you if you want to get a copy of it, I printed off twenty two. I'm going to mail out some more. Hopefully, we'll round out some more people for uh, uh, for Suko. and and I got my my series on the the twelve uh, legendary journeys of no, the legendary exploits of twelve apostles. Uh, I've done a, the seventy disciples, and uh, today we're making progress. I had a VA appointment, and. Uh, I went to the 3D printer, and I now we have one side of the menorah represented, right? This other plate. So the base, all this, we have all the sides on one side now. And uh, I, I talked to them. It's like, hey, what's going on? And uh, they said, well, it's all white, and we're, we can't get a good. Can we put? Can I put color tape on it? But I'm afraid it's plastic. My ruin. It's just yes. Put the tape on it. <laughs> we need this done. You've been sitting on it for a month. It's like, don't just put the tape on it. Once you finish scanning it, I, don't worry about it. I'll remove it. Just leave the tape on it, and I'll remove it so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, so we're finally going to get progress on the menorah. Who knows? Maybe we will be able to have it. Uh, because originally, uh, they did the menorah lighting on uh, on Sukkot. But since since uh, Hanukkah was originally called Sukkot in December, right? They, all, the, all the traditions associated with Sukkot were transferred. That's why it's eight days and things like that. So... Uh, the menorah lighting ceremony in, in, in Sukkot kind of died away, but it's preserved in, uh, in Hanukkah. So it's appropriate to have menorah in, uh, in, in uh, Sukkot and in, in Hanukkah. So, uh, all right, that's, that's it. Let's begin. Let's worship and let Joseph take over. Happy birthday to you. Yesterday we're on the Zoom call. If you haven't, get one of the, the, the 10 Days of Awe booklets because I think it was wonderful. Very nice, very appropriate. So I have a card for 
Joseph, we acknowledge him. We, you know, we really appreciate all Joseph's contributions to our congregation. Especially those fat checks he spends in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if anybody wants to sign the card, they can. Yes, I'm the only one to sign that. Everybody needs to sign the card. Here, here. here. Pass around the card. We'll get you. We'll get you. You want to try this one? We're going to start here. Oh, oh yeah, we're starting at the O O at the chorus. We're starting with chorus. No, no, halfway through. We're going to sing it. We're just, that's how we're going to. That's, that's where we're starting the intro. How we're going to intro it. Oh, you want to go to the That's music only? Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Not, not, not. Music only here? No. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start the intro. So we're going to have. Yeah. 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 Sacrifice love has been 
Is any we work for GSA here? Oh, 
Father, we thank you. We thank you that we have 
a savior to whom we can call with our with our our burdens with our many woes that we carry through our lives that we don't have to be continually burdened by the sin that is on us that you have made a way we thank you for this season of refreshing please bless our activities today help us to open our eyes and our hearts in your name we pray amen amen, amen. okay uh, at, at King of Saints Tabernacle in Cleveland, Texas, uh, because we want to be at the marriage supper of the Lamb, there's we have a picture of the uh, explained about this about the marriage supper of the Lamb there. This table goes to eternity. There is no end to the table. So all of these people that you can see, kind of like shadows or whatever. At the marriage supper of the Lamb, for those who have taken hold of our Lord Jesus Christ and done what they could to, to stay yoked to Him, that's my goal for me, is to stay yoked to my Savior. Everyone is entitled to be at a seat at the table at the marriage supper of the Lamb. So here we are in Cleveland, and our goal is the table of the marriage supper of the Lamb. Yeah. The next part. Yeshua will return as a thief in the night, but by knowing the signs of the heavens, Yahweh's word and the events in this world, we will be better prepared than not. We have a picture of the Magi. <coughs> Why do we have the Magi? He's going to explain it. Okay. Well, there's another slide. Go ahead, Joseph. Okay, this is how the Magi knew the king of the Jews had come and how Simeon and Anna knew that the baby Jesus was a special child. Yes. And we have we have to go to the to the calendar again. That this is uh, Joyce's favorite thing is the is the biblical calendar. It's a cycle. It's not linear, it is a circle. The Magi, Simeon and Anna studied the signs of the heavens, the biblical feast, eclipses, and the readings. Go ahead. She found it? Yay. Yay! Where was it? It was right there on the prayer uh, bench. She can probably, point to it. Probably where she put it. Yeah. <laughs> or Joseph. Where it was yes, the Pastor, pastor. <laughs> exactly. Right well, I, I do it. the same thing. Okay. We all do it. Here we have on this wall a biblical calendar. I'm going to go ahead and turn the, the... Okay, thank you, Pastor. Yes. Here we have a biblical calendar. And I, we are right here... At this little line, this is Yom Kippur. This is the seventh month of the year. It is exactly opposite from the month where we have Passover on the 15th. We are the 10th of the month right now. On the 10th of the month, in the first month, they pick the lamb for, and they keep it for the four days because Passover starts at the evening on the fourth day. So we are six months apart. We are at Yom Kippur right now. What was so special about the baby Jesus? The baby Jesus, if we accept God with us, that he tabernacled with us, that he would have been born John on John chapter Sukkot. 1, verse 14. Yes, John chapter 1, verse 14. In Leviticus chapter 12, verse 4, we are told that the mother of a baby boy, 40 days after he is born, is presented at the temple well if we're here on the 15th 30 days would be the 15th genesis the 17 and uh and leviticus chapter 12. yes and if we add 10 days it brings us to the 25th of heshwan that would have been the day yeshua would have been dedicated 40 days old uh, it says that the dedication of a uh, of a male child it would be dedicated on the 40th day yes and so here we have the dedication of yeshua well if you go to a calendar to this day i didn't bring it with me but when we finish up with the festivals of tabernacles we start reading genesis all over again before the end of tishrei that last shabbat usually 
in the month of Tishrei is when we start reading Genesis again. You, you finish the last portion of Deuteronomy, chapter 34, the death of Moses, to, and then you start again with the first couple chapters of Genesis, and there is a message you will see in a moment. Yes. This. Joseph, what's the last word in Deuteronomy? Yisrael. With it L. ends with a lamed. Yes. The Hebrew L. And the first word in Genesis? Breshit, in the beginning, it starts with a vet. So, uh, in this case, it's going to be a vet instead of a vet. It's going to have a V sound, and you spell another Hebrew word? Live. Live. Heart. Heart. And so here, we have Deuteronomy. We start Genesis, Exodus, mm -hmm. Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. We go, we keep reading, we keep reading, we keep reading. Anna and Simeon would have been reading and reading and reading and reading and reading and reading and reading. And we need Genesis to Malachi, but we also need Luke. In Luke is where we are told that Anna and Simeon were in the temple when the baby Jesus was brought to the temple. Well, if we look in the book of Genesis, the portions where we read a little bit, 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 when Jesus was brought to the temple, better known as a parsha for the week. That portion is Vayera for the twenty-fifth of Heshvan. He, God, will appear. And he, God, will appear. Yes. Yes. He will appear. And so here are Simeon and Anna, and here's this baby on the twenty-fifth of Heshvan, thirty days before Hanukkah. And Hanukkah is a festival of dedication. Which we find this in John 10, 22, and also in 1 Maccabees and 2 Maccabees. Also, if you, if you have a copy of the Apocrypha or a Catholic Bible, it is in there. So here, baby Jesus is being dedicated on the 25th of Heshwan. The parasha, the weekly reading, is Vayera, and God appeared... And so this is a very special baby because they know the calendar, they know the readings, but the Magi also know the calendar. They also know the readings, and I believe there were eclipses or um, maybe some astrological events at this same time. And so that's why Yeshua is there in Bethlehem because remember he grew up in Nazareth. The Magi come two years later to bring him gifts. They talk to Herod and Herod says, kill all those babies in Bethlehem. But because of the gifts from the Magi, they were able to go to Egypt. And, and you see a parallel of some, about a, uh, another weaning of a child, a son, two years old. You know who it was? Isaac. The son of Abraham, and anyways, they brought gifts to him when he was weaned, just Isaiah. like Yeshua. And it was prophesied in Isaiah chapter 60 that kings would ride on camels carrying gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So if that didn't happen, God would have been a liar. Yes. Okay. So. And also, because why did they know another thing about the signs of the heavens? It was prophesied in Numbers chapter 24 by Balaam, whose name means not of the people. He prophesied that a star would rise out of Jacob and that, and that he would be a ruler in, uh, uh, from, from Jacob. And all, uh, what, what else happened? So he'd be a ruler. ruler in, and it says in Micah chapter 5, that he would be born in Bethlehem. So you have the star, and you have Bethlehem, and that where did they go? Bethlehem. Go ahead. Okay, you can keep going. Excellent. In this um, slide, we have how agriculture fits into the the biblical calendar. It all fits together. Right. Joseph, go ahead. Uh, and uh, by the way. They would cast lots according to uh, Leviticus chapter 16 and 17. They would cast lots uh, for one one for the uh, uh, a uh, a goat for that be uh, slaughtered for 
for Yahweh, and one would be for the Azazel, the scapegoat that was sent out in the wilderness. And after a while, they wound up throwing the uh, scapegoat over a cliff, known as the Azazel, which is also a a, uh, a Malach that's mentioned in the Book of Enoch of all places. I think Stephen might, might explain to that when he does a teaching or teaching on Enoch. But anyways, they would cast lots, and uh, they cast lots over, over also Yeshua's garments, according to Psalm 22. And uh, anyways, here's an interesting footnote. You could you can look this up in the Talmud in Yoma, uh, the tractate on uh, Yom Kippur, and it says that some miracles happen or strange events happen on Yom Kippur. You know what they are? The lot for for Yahweh would fall in the left hand, which is for the scapegoat, and vice versa. The the lot for the scapegoat would fall in the right hand. The temple doors would open and close without anyone touching them. The uh, shamash wouldn't light anymore. The middle candle. The middle candle. And also, you would have the scarlet cord. It says in, that your sins, though they be uh, red like crimson, they will be white as snow. Anyways, things like that happen. The next thing is, uh, uh, the, uh, what's that, pilot? He, no, 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 no
Okay. The Lamb, uh, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world paid our bride price. Leviticus 27, verse 4. But instead of giving us an engagement ring, he gave us his robe of righteousness. For a robe is, is filthy rags. So here is Yeshua let's, trying to put let's his read robe this. into our hands. The two thing, two scriptures are asking from Isaiah. And, and what, what books did Yeshua quote the most in the in the Gospels? Deuteronomy. He quoted Deuteronomy, Psalms, Psalms Isaiah. and Isaiah. And that's the most amount of uh, um, copies of the scripture of the Tanakh that were found in the Dead Sea's cave. I don't think it was a coincidence. Those three books are are like the fullest copies of the scripture in the Dead Sea cave. Isaiah, I don't think it was a coincidence. Isaiah 61, 10 is the Isaiah 60, uh, uh, 110. It says that I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. That's Yeshua in Hebrew. He has covered me with a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decked himself with ornaments and as a bride adorned herself with her jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. In Isaiah 64 verse 6. Is about the our righteousness. Four six. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all of our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. And by the way, when it says our uh, our as filthy rags. It was a stronger word than that in the original Hebrew. It meant... It's okay. It's okay. Filthy rags is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Next. And then uh, also in Ephesians 5, uh, I, I need to mention about from Ephesians chapter 5. You know why? Because Rashaul, the Apostle Paul, he speaks about the bride. What is she supposed to be dipped in? about the wife it says that that he has come for a wife that that is without spot or wrinkles her, garment. her garments is oh here it is verse 27 okay starting verse uh, uh, 25 husbands love your wives even as Messiah also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself a glorious uh, congregation not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that it should be holy and without blemish and it also says in Revelation chapter 19 that the bride has got herself ready for, for the marriage Amen. the marriage supper of the lamb and that's what we're doing here that's why we're going to be uh, let's we, read this one to oh, I'm not it's called all head I need my laptop oh, okay I'm going to get to that It says, now that our robes are pure white, our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. No. Sure, no. Let's, sure Let's do the all head first. Right. All head. Gotcha. We're, we're going to uh, take a break for... We're going to take a moment. She's, yes. she's on take a moment. I need to get, I need to get my Moxor anyways. <laughs> this is a prayer that said... It means all het. Can we say that together? All het. It means for the sin. Amen. This is confession of sin. It goes along with 1 John 1 9 and also 2 Chronicles 7 14. It goes along with that. So you can have it on the screen in a second. Okay. We'll read together.
Joseph, isn't it wonderful to have a godly wife? Yeah. I am so glad she found her corner, too. Right where she left it. <laughs> she thought it was by, by it, but it was back, back by the bench. Okay. Let's, let, let's just pause a moment and think about what we're going to say when we say these prayers. Yes. Because this includes all of our ancestors' yes. sins, too. Because sometimes the sands are visited upon the next right. generations. <laughs> You're gonna have to deal with my. Uh... That's okay. We're That's cute. cute. <laughs> that was. What is that? A fox? Yeah. It's, it says in Song of Solomon that that that, uh, yeah, that uh, some foxes uh, spoil the vine. Yeah, just, don't, just don't put any fire on the tail. Right. <laughs> right. We we all do like what Shimshon Samson did. Yes, that too, yes. I'll head for the sin. Yes. Now that our robes are pure white, our names no, no, no. are... After we, say, after we say that. Yes. So she's going to pull this up. Yes. We received our robe of righteousness at Paso, at the, when we said our vows at Shavuot. So now we are here to have an evaluation. How have you kept your robe? So we're going to spruce up our robes. Okay, why is this coming up? Aha! No. What happened? We, there's no internet here. No internet? No, it's coming up on my screen, but it's not showing up there. Oh, no. Okay. Well, Jeannie's going to read it out loud for all <laughs> oh of my us. Gosh, no. hold, hold on, Jeannie will get help. Help her. Help her. Help. She will stand in for all of us. The cal the cav the cavalry is coming. It's up there. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Let, let's face this uh, screen and let's let's say these prayers together. Do you want everyone to stand? Can everybody see yeah. it? Yeah. Or does it matter? So just leave it. It doesn't matter. If, if, can you all see it without standing? No. You still can't see it? Oh my goodness. I can see can it. Can you see it now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're in front of it. Yeah, but. I have there we go. Perfect. Perfect. So perfect. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Everybody can see this? If, if you can, come up closer. Move closer. Come closer. It's so crowded, you can't move. Now we can see it. Okay. All hit for the sin. For the sin. Okay. All hit for the sin. For the sin we have committed against you willingly or under compulsion. And for the sin we have committed against you by hardening our hearts. For the sin we have committed against you by acting without thinking. And for the sin we have committed against you by speaking perversely. For the sin we have committed against you through sexual impurity. And for the sin we have committed against you secretly and openly. For the sin we have committed against you knowingly and deceitfully. And for the sin we have committed against you by offensive speech. Slower. Slower, please. Okay. For the sin we have committed against you by wronging our neighbor. For the sin we have committed against you by sinful meditation of the heart. For the sin we have committed against you by lewd association. And for the sin we have committed against you by insincere confession. For the sin we have committed against you by spurning parents and teachers. And for the sin we have committed against you in presumption or in error. For the sin we have committed against you by violence. And for the sin we have committed against you by profaning your name. 
For the sin we have committed against you by unclean speech, and for the sin we have committed against you by foolish talk, and for the sin we have committed against you through the evil inclination, for the sin we have committed against you knowingly and unknowingly, for all these sins, O God of forgiveness, forgive us and pardon us in Yeshua's name. Ba'al kulam elohi selikot selaklanu michol lanu b'shem Yeshua. That's the way it says in Hebrew. And First John tells us that if we confess the sin, He is righteous to forgive us. Is it just this, or are we going? No, there's three pages. There's, there's three pages. For the sin we have committed against you by denying and lying, and for the sin we have committed against you by bribery, for the sin we have committed against you by scoffing, and for the sin we have committed against you by slander, for the sin we have committed against you in our business dealings, for the sin we have committed against you in eating and drinking, for the sin we have committed against you by demanding usurious interests, and for the sin we have committed against you by arrogance and pride. For the sin we have committed against you by speaking gossip. And for the sin we have committed against you by wanted glances. For the sin we have committed against you with haughty eyes. And for the sin we have committed against you by insolence. For all these sins, O oh God, forgive us, forgive us, and pardon us in Yeshua's name. Next part. For the sin. In Hebrew, but. The Al Kulam Elohi Slikot Slach Lanu Michol Lanu B'Shem Yeshua. Amen. Next part. Okay. For the sin we have committed against you by rejecting responsibility, and for the sin we have committed against you by contentiousness, for the sin we have committed against you by ensnaring our neighbor. And for the sin we have committed against you by envy. And for the sin we have committed against you by levity. And for the sin we have committed against you by being stiff necked. For the sin we have committed against you by running to do evil. And for the sin we have committed against you by tail bearing. For all these sins. For a sin we have committed against you by vain oaths. And for the sin we have committed against you by hatred, that is cause. For the sin we have committed against you by breaks of trust. And for the sin we have committed against you with confusion of mind. For all these sins, O oh God of forgiveness, forgive us and pardon us in Yeshua's name. Be'ol kolam elohi slikot salach lanu b'chol lanu b'shem Yeshua. No, no more, no more. No, no, more. no, I think that I think that's enough enough prayers. Our robes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next part though, Joseph, is more prayers than ye love. See, ye love. we have said, we have confessed sin, Hold on. we have asked for forgiveness. He is faithful and just to forgive us if we confess it. Now, oh, what we're going to do is, the gates are about to be closed because we are told by the sages. That the windows of heaven are open for the ten days between Yom Teruah and Yom Kippur. Now that our robes are pure white, our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yeshua has announced us to his Father, and we are able to attend the marriage supper of the Lamb. But right before they close the do doors, we have one more little bit of praying to do. Let us pray at the closing of the gates. Okay, I, I have it right here. Okay, honey, but she needs to bring it up on the screen unless you want to be the only one to say it. You choose. No, no, just put I, it on the screen. Just so put it can, on the screen. You can read it, but we, that way we can all see it. While you yes, it. yes, yes, yes. There it is. Nila. This comes from Jeremiah 31, 31 to 30, 37. Come up here, Shalomo. You're gonna, you're gonna be, you're gonna be doing a tikkia gedola. I know you, you can do it great. It's time for you the, need a shofar. It's time for you need to bring your shofar and travel. <laughs> That's going to be the last thing we're going to do before we say close in prayer and, and head, head to break the fast. Also, we, we should we should also say First John one nine and Second Chronicles seven fourteen is what we should say aloud. Also, after 
at the show part blast. And oh, we also need to do a, a, a communion to break the fast. Okay, let's say this in a second. We all ready? Yes. Prophetic reading. Jeremiah 31, 31 to 37. This is respon uh, responsive. Uh, you'll be... Uh, re read, read the bold after I read the, the top part. It's responsive reading. Behold, the day is... Let me get this on the microphone. Behold, the day is coming, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah all together. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they broke, although I was a husband unto them, says the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my Torah, my law, in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people together. And they, and they shall, shall teach, teach no more every man every his man neighbor, and every man his every brother, man saying, his brother saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Thus says the Lord, who gives the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. Who divides the sea when the waves roar? The Lord of hosts is his name together. If these ordinances depart from before me, says the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus says the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, says the Lord. The closing of the gates and he Yeshua is atonement for our sins and not for ours only but for the sins of the whole world first John 2 2 for by one offering he has perfected forever those who are being sanctified Hebrews 10 14 what started in a temple with a high priest ends in a temple with the high priest our God and God of our fathers as the gates of this Moed this appointed season are closing. We are thankful that we have been able to use this time of memorial to remember your atoning work for this man, Yeshua, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God. Hebrews 10, 12, which is also quoting Psalm 110, verse 1. Isaiah said, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Isaiah 1, 18. Remember I talked about the scarlet cord turning white? This is where it comes from. Is this not the fast I have chosen to loose the bands of weakness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, even that you pull, pull off every yoke? Isaiah 58, 6. We have come before you on this moed, this appointed season, and we have humbled ourselves before you, confessed our sins to you and to our fellow man. We have made these Yomaha Kippurim services our own. We are thankful that for us, the closing of the gates of the Moed does not preclude us from confessing our sins to you any day of the year and receiving your forgiveness. We know that if we judge ourselves now, especially on this appointed season you designated for it, we will not stand ashamed before you on that day when at the Bema judgment seat, the tates of our lives are played. And who sits on that Bema seat? Yeshua is that great white throne judgment is Yeshua. God the Father is in the, is in the sapphire stone uh, seat, that throne. Now we are, let's see. Okay, here we go. I need, I need to read this so he can blow the shofar here. It says, and sound the shofar on the new moon at the appointed time on the day of our feast, for this is a statute for Israel, an ordinance by the God of Yaakov, Psalm 81, 4 to 5. Dekuva Chodesh Shofar Bakisei Leyom 
Genu, Ke Hok, Le Israel, who Mishpat, Le Elohe Yaakov, with trumpets and the sound of the shofar, shout joyfully before the King, the Lord. Psalm 98 6. May the sound of the shofar cause us to turn to you, Lord, and come before you in repentance. May the sound of the shofar cause us to say all that the Lord has spoken that we will do. May the sound of the shofar cause us to renew our loyalty to you, the one true God, and you are your son. And may the sound of the shofar strengthen our determination to defy every false god through the power of your spirit. May the sound of the shofar release the captives from Jubilee and proclaim liberty to those who would set free. It says, well, they have all these all these calls, but let's just have a long... Tequila Kedola! Hallelujah! Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Let's go out to meet him. Pastor Stephen, uh, to lead us in the uh, Lord's Supper. And then we're going to... This is, this is the starting of the breaking of the fast because we have afflicted our souls in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you want to read the last? The last? Oh, now our names are in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. What else do we have? Now go and sin no more. Make sure to remember all things are possible with God. Say it again. Here we go. All, all things, things are possible with God. Do not let your destiny, purpose, assignment from God die in you. No miscarriages. Live to glorify our Heavenly Father. Live with Him forever, starting right now on earth as it is in heaven. It says, uh, if we confess our sins, He is faithful to, to forgive us our, our sins and to cleanse us from all righteousness. And it says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, and turn from their wicked way, I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins and heal their land. And part of this is the eating of the meal that heals. Amen. Since we already did uh, the prayer of repentance, we'll just go into the Lord's prayer. Yes. And the Lord's supper. Yeah. Joseph. I think we thoroughly repented. <laughs> Yeah. Usually we talk about that, but I think we just, uh, we've already done that. So I need, some, I need some bread too. Well, you keep moving too fast. You're moving too fast. I can't keep up with you. Yeah. All right. All right. Let us. The scripture says, Paul writes, saying, "For I received of the Lord, which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Yeshua on the night when she was betrayed took bread, and when he given thanks, he broke it." So let's have uh, uh, Jonathan you can give thanks for us for the bread in Hebrew. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth, even the bread of life, Yeshua HaMashiach. So he broke the, the, the bread and he said, take it, take it, eat it. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same manner to the cup, so we'll have a Joseph to the cup. Baruch Hata Adonai Eloheinu Melakalom Bore Peri Hakafin. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, who brings, who creates the fruit of the vine. And I said, The fruit of the vine is them that believe our report. Vashem Yeshua. Hagafen Amiti in Yeshua, the Messiah, the true vine. Amen. Amen. And he said, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it and remember some baby. Concludes by saying, For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death and resurrection until he come, comes again. So let's conclude with Brother Jonathan doing the ironic benediction. No, 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 no. Uh, 
Uh, Joseph, why don't you bless the food and we're going to partake at the, uh, the place and then Jonathan will, and then we'll, this will be blessed and we'll when we get there. Thank you, Father, for, for this spiritual food that we have partaken of, Father, and we're going to take a physical food, Father, and uh, uh, bless us as we travel uh, back to our homes after we uh, break the bread together, Father. In Yeshua's name, amen. Amen. May I bless you and keep you. May I make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May I lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you.